Welcome back. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Royal Endurance Team's members on winning the FAI Endurance World Championship for young riders and juniors, outclassing 70 other contenders who competed in the 120 kilometer race which was held in France. His Royal Highness emphasized that the victory adds to the Royal Endurance Team's achievements in international races. He attributed the achievement to the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, noting that the victories further enhanced Bahrain's standing among international endurance races. His Royal Highness also extended congratulations for the UAE riders who came first in the World Championship at the individual level. He wished His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the Royal Endurance Team further success. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Ambassador of Pakistan to Bahrain, Mohammed Ayyub at Rafah Palace, to mark the end of his tenure in the kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing Bahrain-Pakistan relations, adding that the partnership continues to develop across all sectors. He commended the Pakistani ambassador's efforts in furthering bilateral cooperation, noting the importance of multi-sector cooperation to achieve common goals and aspirations. During the meeting, regional and global developments and issues of common interest were discussed. The ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering the bilateral relations. He concluded by wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Hamad bin Faisal Malki were also present. With the follow-up and support of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Endurance Team was officially crowned champion of the World Championship for Young Riders and Juniors for the team category at the closing ceremony, which was held in France. The Royal Endurance Team was honored for winning first place, where the team included riders Isa Al-Anizi and Abdullah al rawai from the victorious team, Sultan Al-Ramihi and Jabir Ja'far from the Zaim team, and rider Hamad Hassan from from Nasser team. The rider Isa al Anazi was also crowned for winning third place at the individual category. The, Emir the Emirates riders were crowned in the first and second places at the individual level. The Royal Endurance team also won the award for the best horse condition, winning first place for the best horse to finish the race in good health. Rider Isa al Anazi participated with the horse and won third place.
The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Royal Endurance Team's members on winning the FAI Endurance World Championship for young riders and juniors in France. His Highness attributed the achievements to the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted that the international achievement reflects the honorable efforts of the Royal Endurance Team led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He also commended the Royal Endurance Team's achievement in the World Championship. He congratulated the UAE's riders who won first place in the World Championship at the individual level. The Israeli Foreign Affairs Minister Eli Cohen and his accompanying delegation arrived in Bahrain on an official two-day visit. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, the Under Secretary for Political Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Israel, Khalid Yusuf Al Jalahm, received the Israeli Foreign Minister. Israeli Ambassador to Bahrain, Aitan Nae, and senior officials were also present. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'al Limbarak, paid a visit to the Manama Central Market with the aim of inspecting the existing development works in the market. He affirmed the ministry's keenness to develop the central market in Manama in a way that suits the requirements of its visitors by providing all advanced services. The minister stressed that the central market in Manama is one of the most important, most prominent, and largest central markets in the Kingdom of Bahrain, with an area of 141,000 square meters, also includes three commercial complexes, and 665 commercial units. The minister then inspected a number of service facilities in the Manama Central Market. He directed those concerned to accelerate maintenance work and develop service facilities in accordance with the latest standards. Protection Department at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce launched an awareness campaign entitled We Are Here, which aims to raise awareness on the most important principles of smart and sustainable consumption in accordance with the sustainable development goals of the kingdom through the participation of the major commercial stores in the governorates of Bahrain. Meanwhile, the inspection department of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce also organized an inspection campaign to ensure the availability of school supplies and tools and the validity of their promotional offers, coinciding with the start of the new academic here and the return of students to schools. Inspection Directorate increases its monitoring and inspection visits uh, during different occasions and as the back to school shopping season started we carried out an inspection campaign to ensure that the school supply is sufficient in the market and the promotions are licensed, clear and not misleading and the product prices are displayed. In general, we uh, ensure that the regulatory requirements are being met to promote fair marketplace for both consumers and traders. The campaign aims to educate and raise consumer awareness to all citizens and residents in accordance with the Consumer Protection Law of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Consumer Protection Directorate aims to educate consumers about safe purchasing behavior and smart spending and price awareness. We would also encourage consumers to be aware of substitute products that may be priced more competitively while offering similar quality. We are thankful to our partner companies who have supported this initiative by reserving space in their stores for informational signage to raise consumer awareness, especially that we're now in the season of going back to school. Carrefour actively participated and supported the initiative launched by the Consumer Protection Decorate by displaying and communicating awareness message across all our stores in Bahrain. The campaign has positively impacted us both as a customer and as a company. Since the implementation, we have witnessed noticeable shift in uh, customer behavior. Our customers have become more and more conscious uh, about their choices, taking time, carefully selecting the products and comparing prices before added to their basket. The Prime Minister's Office announced that applications for the ninth intake of the Prime Minister's Fellowship Program has started. The Director General of the Prime Minister's Office, Hamid Yagub Al Mahmid, highlighted that the program reflects the visions of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. 
المحميد انفسايز هز رويال هاينسز كوميتمنت تو انفستينج ان بحريني سيتيزنز هو ار ان انتجرال بارت اوف ذا كينجدومز كومبريهنسيف ديفلوبمنت تو فيذر ادفانس غفرمنت ورك ستريمز هي هايلايتد ذات ذا فيلوشيب از ا كومبيتيتيف تشالنجينج جير لونج تريننج بروجرام ذات اب سكيلز يونج بحريني ليدرز وركينج ان ذا بابليك سيكتور اند بروفايدز ذيم ذا اوبورتونيتي تو ليرن اباوت ذا كينجدومز ديسيجن ميكينج بروسيس المحميد كومندد ذا افورتس اوف بريفيس فيلوز اند ذا كونتريبيوشنز تو فيذرينج بابليك سيكتور ورك ستريمز اند اتشيفينج ذا كينجدومز وايد رينجينج ديفلوبمنت جولز هي وش ذا نايث اند take of the program success in line with the directives of his majesty king hamad bin isa al khalifa towards placing the citizen at the heart of the goals of comprehensive development programs the prime minister's fellowship program which was launched with the vision of his royal highness the crown prince and prime minister prince salman bin hamad al khalifa comes to raise a level of national cadres to form the true foundation for building elevating the society and enhancing sustainability the national program is one of the most important programs implemented by the government and reflects the keenness of his royal highness to create national leadership cadres who participate in the development of the kingdom the program was designed to assign young and distinguished bahraini talents from government agencies for a period of 1 year in the prime minister's office and train them at a high level to serve their basic work in their original government workplaces The program is moving forward in achieving its goals by subjecting its participants to intensive training programs on methods of research, analysis, and leadership to become closely acquainted with the mechanism of making and implementing government policies and programs through their work directly with a number of officials and decision makers. The Director General of the Institute for Public Administration and member of the Supreme Council for Women, Sheikha Dr. Rana bint Isa bint Aij Al Khalifa, received the Order of the Star of Italy, awarded by the country president in recognition for her efforts to further strengthen friendship ties between the two countries. The Italian ambassador to Bahrain, Paola Amade, presented Sheikha Dr. Rana with the Order of the Star of Italy. Sheikha Dr. Rana expressed appreciation for receiving the recognition, commending the Bahraini Italian ties and their continuous development. She expressed appreciation for Italy and no noted the ambassador's efforts to further enhance bilateral ties. The ambassador expressed pleasure to present Sheikh Dr. Rana with the order on behalf of the president of Italy, Sergio Mattarella, and highlighted the efforts made by Sheikh Dr. Rana during her tenure in the Foreign Ministry and Higher Education Council. Schools in Bahrain received administrative and educational bodies to start the new academic year and are fully prepared to receive students. The schools held general meetings with administrators and teachers to implement plans that are in the best interest of students and facilitate effective communication with parents. Implementing all procedures come to confirm the continuous and integrated efforts by the Ministry of Education, represented by government schools in their various categories, to ensure a successful and distinguished academic year. The Youth City 2030 activities concluded at Exhibition World Bahrain organized by the Ministry of Youth Affairs in cooperation with the strategic partner Timkin. More on this report. Positive cooperation for the benefit of the youth of the Kingdom of Bahrain, represented by their training in a distinct and exceptional way, through programs and projects that raise their capabilities to enter the labor market, which is the work of Youth City 2030. This year's edition was distinguished as the largest edition of Youth City since its launch over 12 years ago, as it carried about 130 diverse training programs and met the interests and desires of young people of all ages, which reached about 2,600 participants thanks to the various training and entertainment programs it carried. This model city is proceeding according to a plan for success, thanks to the care and keenness of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who is keen to empower Bahraini youth and make them proficient in all locations and all fields. The city contributes every year to creating and preparing a young generation that possesses all the elements and qualifications necessary for competitiveness due to the appropriate environment it provides, as it provides them with skills that benefit them in their daily lives and also facilitates their entry into the labor market with strength and confidence. The Green Antiquities Pavilion is the pavilion through which the Kingdom of Bahrain participated in Expo Milano in 2015 and it was moved to the city of Muharraq to be one of the cultural infrastructure sites in the city. More on this report. 
Great Antiquities is the national pavilion of the Kingdom of Bahrain at Expo Milano 2015. It is a poetic interpretation of the agricultural cultural heritage of the kingdom and the ancient heritage whose roots extend to the Dilmun civilization, which is deeply rooted in history. Over an area of 2,000 square meters, there is a scene that evokes the agricultural and plant traditions that Bahrain has been known for thousands of years. In addition to the myths that revolves around Bahrain, such as the common belief that it is the site of the Garden of Eden and its description as the land of the million palm trees. After participating in Milano Expo in 2015, the pavilion was transported to Bahrain and was reconstructed to become a wonderful botanical garden. The Green Antiquities Pavilion was the opportunity to build bridges to convey the country's heritage and the beauty of the Bahraini environment. It is the platform to crown all the great efforts made by the Kingdom of Bahrain in order to document the human and environmental history of the kingdom that influenced the place and its fabric and transfer it to the world.